After one septic company conned Richard Ray out of $1,000 and another couldn't solve his problem, he felt a bit beaten down. I was thinking this world's going to hell in a handbasket. So our Trustdale team did some tracking. Here's what we found. This guy owns the first septic company. That's right, he's had a few run-ins with the law. So it was no surprise that when we went to his business address, the office was empty. So we encouraged Richard to file a police report with his local law enforcement agency. As for the other company? That we kind of were thinking, well, that money is down the drain. He still couldn't get them to honor their warranty, which states five-year guarantee or one half of your money back. So we gave them a call. And guess what? I couldn't get help from other people and you came through and I really appreciate the fact that you've done what you've done and helped them to see the light. Yep, he was refunded nearly a thousand dollars from that second company because that's what they said they would do in their contract. Eventually, Richard's septic snag was solved by a third company. So what can we all learn from this story? Always check references before you sign a contract. It's the second step in my seven-point investigative process. I call it verification. In this case, ask for 10 references and contact at least two of them. If the company refuses to provide those references or makes excuses, chances are they stink. Got an unsolvable problem? Share it with us at trustdale.com. We'll try to help.